you going? So today on Big House Sport, we are back with another one of these positional player videos. Now today, guys, we're going to be doing the NRL centers. There's 32 players here, so this one could go for a good half an hour. Uh, but we've, uh, as you guys know, we're doing this uh, tier list thing with other creators and other social media people inside the individual sports. And today, guys, you may know him, you should know him, the Entertain House. How are you doing, champion? Good day. Good to see you. Thanks. Are you uh, the Entertain? Are you the Entertain House or Entertain House? Just Instagram. Entertain House. I think on Instagram it's the because I think that was taken. But he oh hates yeah, and Tainas would be, and Tainas would be taken. Yeah, yeah, that's the, that, that makes sense to be honest with you. But yeah, so today, guys, we're going to be going through senses. You know, like I said, we've got uh, multiple people doing different positions, so definitely come back for others. And there's probably actually, I'm not too sure which one we've already shown on the channel. It could be, it could be the hookers. I'm not too sure. But yeah, so we go through as you can see on the screen right now. We've got elite quality do the job not that great and unproven now just before we get in guys these are the predicted starting centers of the league this year this isn't uh, based off all the centers that can possibly be centers it's just the basic starting centers list and we're going to rank them in elite quality do the job not that great and unproven you guys will have different opinions to us 100 percent. you will have different opinions this is 100 percent opinion based this is just another two guys on social media talking about the sport that we love i'm looking forward to it and especially as you said the fact that some of these players we could be giving our opinion on, but they, they may not even start. So it's interesting to see if, if what we've seen is, is agreeable or if they might not even get a starting spot. Well, that's the thing as well. I like we've got there is unproven, you know, so, some of these young guys that we don't really know too much about yet. Uh, but I think centers is a pretty strong position in regards to kind of having a good idea of what we're looking at. But they also, yeah, they do. It, centers interchange probably the most. Oh, no, forwards interchange the most, I guess. But in the same sense, let's just get straight into it because we do have a lot of guys to get through. So, first up, man, we've got uh, Bradman Best. What do you think of Bradman and where would you put him? I think Bradman's a quality player. I don't think... It's between do the job and quality. Uh, I'm going to put him in quality. I think that he's been really good for the Newcastle Knights. They obviously made the eight, uh, come back fresh from injury. He was considered by... I think it was Clarkie as well, uh, considered by a lot of people as a pick for Rookie of the Year. Um, and he was definitely up there. Harry Grant obviously got it, but Bradman Best, I think if he would have uh, gotten more game time, could have been a potential. Um, I think I think that he's definitely I think he's definitely one of the one of the better centers out there right now. I do think there is it, it was still obviously very early days, and uh, it's difficult to get a good read on him. I don't think he's doing the job. I do think he's quality. I think he's lower end quality. I don't think he would compare a lot to some of the other guys who are going to put in quality on this list. Uh, but I definitely think he does come in the quality. He has the potential to be very high end quality as well uh, throughout his career. Next up, we've got Braden Williami. Your thoughts, mate? Um, I haven't seen too much of Braden Williami. I'm going to say it's between not that great and unproven. I'm going to give the benefit of the doubt and say unproven. Um, Dragons don't have the greatest team that they've had the last couple of years. So if he can uh, get some more game time, then I guess I'll, I'll put it unproven for now. Uh, so he's, uh, he's, 28. He's, 20, he's 28. To be, to be fair to you, man, to be, to be fair, I, I don't know about him being an unproven. I really think we should put him in, in, in not that great, to be honest with you, because he is 20, 26, 28 years old. You know, I, I think that, He's a lot on the agier side of an unproven play because he's and unproven at this stage. Like, there's a bit of a problem, man. He's had he's had a lot of time away though. Like, he played with with Manly, but you've had uh, you and Aitken, who's got his chance with the Warriors now, and Zach Lomax, who's kind of taken that spotlight away from him to have any career. But yeah, well, I'll... you know what? We'll we'll throw him in not that great. But you obviously, you know, if you are watching this, mate, uh, like I was saying on the other the other ones, uh, you know, use this as positive criticism to to prove us wrong and, and get back up there. But for me, I think it's well with a lot of the players we're going to put in the do the job section. I don't think he'll be alongside that list. I don't think yeah. he'll be alongside that list. Alrighty, next up, uh, we got Branko Lee from the Melbourne Storm. Now, just to quickly jump in here, I think that Branko Lee obviously used to play for the Gold Coast Titans and didn't really do much there unfortunately i think he's also played for the doggies as well i think he's doing really well at the storm but in the same sense i just don't know overall if i can put him in uh, you know i actually think he i think he does the job i think he's a high end do the job i think he's definitely a quality player but in the same sense when i say quality i'm talking about you know he's he's better than average and i know guess i guess do the job is average but it's high end is what i would say what would you what would you put him in I'm also going to put him in do the job. I think it's low end though. I think the more time around these star players, your Cameron Munster, 
your uh, Ryan Pappenhausen really going to get better and better for him. He was okay at the Titans, and I guess at the Titans I would have put him as not that great. I yeah, I would, I would have put him as not that great at the Titans, yeah. But I, I think he does the job. And as you're saying, he's had a fantastic season. And he was someone I criticised a lot, I think, towards the start of the year. So he's definitely come a long way. He, he uh, made his origin to as well. So yeah, yeah, he uh, he's, he's, had a, he's had a big season with the Storm. I don't. I think considering he's made an origin to view, there's no way you could put him in the bottom and do the job, to be honest with you. And I think that, yes, I, I guess what you're saying is, is that the players around him make him the player he is. But in the same sense, you can only play with who you're playing. You know what I mean? Like... Uh, He's, he's doing the job where, where he is. So I guess it definitely for me is, de- is between quality or do the job. But I'll put him in higher, higher into the job. We're going to have gone through three players. So we'll see how he kind of ranks later on. Uh, mm-hmm. Next up here, we've got Brent Naden from the Panthers. I, 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 I like him, but what are, you, what are you saying? Look, it's, it's for me, it's between do the job and not that great, surprisingly. I think that he's definitely done the job. And I think that he showed that he, he gets the job done in regards to the impact he made in the grand final as well. Uh, they look like a strong side when he did come on for uh, Tyrone May, I believe it was. I think that he's still got a long way to go, though. I still think that, and I, I feel like he may not stay with the Panthers. I feel like he needs to go to another club to be you at his best. currently talks about him going to another club? I think he's in, he's in talks with other clubs. There are a lot of players you know, talking to other clubs. I think Brent Naden is one of them. I think I saw him in talks with the Rabbitohs. I'll, I, I'll say I, do the job. I, I'm pretty happy. There's no way I'll put him in not that great. I, I'd definitely say, you know, do the job. I, I, I Look, I think he's, he's, I think he's decent, man. I, I really do. But in the same sense, I haven't seen enough to put him alongside some of the players that I really want to see in quality. You know, I really, uh, yeah. I, that I really want to see in quality. So we're kind of being a bit harsh Marcus here right now, but I, I, I think it's fair. I think people might disagree you... with that though. I can see people putting him in quality. I don't think anyone puts him in not that great, uh, but I definitely think he's at minimum, at minimum, you know, a mid-ranger of the do the job to uh, upper end of the, to be honest with you. But like I said, there's heaps of guys here to get through. Next one, I think this is Brian Kelly, right? I think this is Brian Kelly. From Brian Kelly. Yeah, Brian Kelly, my boy from the old Gold Coast Titans. Um, I like him. I think he's. I think he's good. But I. I would put him in. I'd put him into the job. I wouldn't be putting him in quality. I think he's honestly got a lot of quality in him, though. I think that he really does. You know, he, his steps are, are quite underrated. I think that he does a decent job out there. And I think that this year we're going to see a major improvement from him with the team that we've got. However, uh, I, I wouldn't be putting him uh, above a couple of the players we've mentioned already. No, I agree entirely. Do the job. I think it is. Up the top end of do the job for this one. Mm. I think that he's close to becoming a quality player, and we can see more um, adaptive around those. I've mentioned how players around you make you a better player, and I think the team that the Gold Coast Titans is building uh, could be really good, and he could learn a lot from them. So I'll put him right now in do the job, but I think by the end of 2021, he's he's definitely a chance of being a quality centre. He's definitely moving upwards, yeah. And next up, we've got Campbell Graham for the Rabbitohs. Mr. Campbell Graham, who, where, where, where are you going to throw him? This is a tough one. I think he's been a little bit up and down, but I would say he's up there with Bradman Best, so I'm going to put Campbell Graham up in the quality. I think he's been the top mark of... I guess this ruins later, but for me... I thought that Joey Manu and Campbell Graham were your kind of best centres at going into last year. And I think he had an up and down year, but I still think that he is showing just how good he is. So I'm going to put I think he's one of the better centres. To to put it out there, I think he's one of the better centres. I don't think he's elite. Elite is, I guess we we may as well throw Joseph Manu in there already, to be honest with you. But, you know, I, I wouldn't necessarily put him elite i think that after this year we could definitely start to move him towards that elite area but i think yep. this year especially with the team and i said this in the last one as well especially with the rabbitos this year they've got so much that they can prove with how quality their team is um and especially in the back line we know they're a fast-paced team they love to attack and you know campbell graham if he's an elite player will be able to really utilize what we're going to see from him this year you know what i mean he's really going to be able to utilize that position at that team so yeah, yeah. i think that he definitely has he's definitely on the quality end and i think he's high High quality. Yep. Next up, next up here we got Curtis Scott, mate. Where are you throwing him? I'm going to put Curtis Scott in not that great. Now, I'm going to say this, that Curtis Scott, both at the Storm and the Raiders, has come up with big moments in games and come up with bad moments where there's been drop balls. There's been some fantastic moments throughout his career. But for me, he just hasn't completely proven himself as a star player. I definitely think, arguably, you could put him in do the job. He's nowhere near quality. Mm-hmm. 
and he's nowhere near unproven. So it's between those two. I'm, I'm going to say not that great. I just The only reason I'm not wanting to put him into the job right now is because we, we have... Um, I would nearly... Look, I'm not going to lie to you. I, I genuinely like Ryan Kelly more than Frank Crowley, to be honest with you. But I wouldn't be putting in... I wouldn't be putting... I wouldn't be putting Curtis Scott in that, in that tier with those guys. And we had this confusion before where, like, we want more tiers. Obviously, this is a very generalized tiers, guys. You know, it's very difficult uh, to... Because, for example... You know, Campbell Graham and Bradman Best are given that quality for two completely different reasons. Yeah, so uh, it, it is difficult. But I'm pretty happy with putting Curtis Scott in not that great. I just think he's a a, ba- a basic player, if I could say that, without well, tr- insulting him too much, I guess. Well, at the start of this season, people were calling, and I think it happened eventually, were calling for it to be dropped. It was his first year with the Raiders. He spent for eight games, I think, which most of those games he made complete and utter errors for Canberra. And he, he came back and performed well. So, as I said, he has moments, but overall, not that great. Next up, we've got Dane Gagai. For me, man, the, I, look, his defense is the only reason he's not in elite. I would put him in quality. The only yeah. reason I wouldn't put him in elite is because of his defense. I think that he's a fantastic player and really, I honestly could nearly put him in elite. But the only reason I'm putting him there is because he is very susceptible to giving up a try or two because he just doesn't, uh, he just, he just doesn't get it. He just doesn't get it when it comes to making the defensive movement. But when it comes to attacking, he's honestly one of the better players in the field. And in regards to attack, I'd have him indefinitely elite. His attack is so skilled. He's such a good player to watch. If we're going off origin, I'm probably putting him in elite. He, seems he actually to... probably should go in elite base on that, to be honest with you. I just worry about the defense, man. I do. I worry. I, I agree. There are some missed tackles that are pretty poor from Dane Gagai. And it's been happening for years as well. Like We're not going completely off career, but... I've seen enough to see that the defense isn't great. And I, I think that that keeps him in the, the quality rather than the elite, even though he's played in RL for so long. You know what? Based on kind of the centers that I'm looking at right now and what we're probably going to come up with here, I would nearly put him in elite. I think he's one of... I, I feel I think, like we should. I think, he would, start, I think we... he would start in every single team. I think Are he would going... start for every single team. And I think that he would be one of the better players in the, in the attack for every single team. And I think that, yes, his defense may be susceptible, but I still think you would take him every day of the week. All right. You've convinced me. And I've we've been. both spoken about how much impact he makes to games with his attack. So let's, let's just put him in a leap. Exactly right. Exactly right. So, the, yeah, the Rabbitohs have got a very nice little attack. Yeah, as you can see, they're two centers. All right, so next up, we've got, uh, we got Dylan Walker here. We've got Dylan Walker. Now, this is a tough one because he obviously plays a lot of 5'8 sometimes, mm. and he also plays center. He also plays all over the park. Where would you throw him? As a center, not a 5'8", as a center. But That's this is the thing. predicting him to go this year. I don't mind him as a center rather than a 5'8". I think he's better as a center. He's between not that great and do the job. I don't know. I think he's quality. I'm, I'm going to say do the job. I'm going to say do the job. I think he's a good player. I think his better footy is played in the centres. I feel like players like uh, Cade Cust play really well. And obviously, Kieran Foran's coming. Do you think too. he's online, though, with Brian Kelly and Branko Lee and uh, Brent Naden? Do you think that's the I same? do. I do. When he gets that centre position, I think he makes the most out of it. I do. I think that he is a player who is do the job, always gets the job done, nothing wrong. Well, obviously, players are going to make errors. When I say nothing wrong, I mean he's consistent. So I can't put him in quality, and I don't think he's not. I don't. I don't think he's not a bad player at all. So I'm going to say do the job for. Fair enough. We'll leave him. We'll, I'll leave him at top of the top end of the do the job. So you know, I'll let you take the kind of the do the job there, but I'll put him right at the high end because obviously I'd probably put him low end of quality. But uh, I think that's fair enough to have him above. Above Branko and, and, and Naden and, and Brian Kelly in regards to that. Uh, mm-hmm. Next up, we've got Anari Tuala. Uh, for me, I would probably put him in unproven. I don't think we've seen enough from him yet. And I think that, you know, we need to see a lot more from him before we can give a good ranking. What would you do? Oh, I absolutely agree. I think that it's, it's a close one to... You, you could argue that he did the job for the Knights all year. But I believe that we haven't seen the tip of the iceberg. I feel like... And I've, we've seen glimpses of him being fantastic. So I think he's a player with a lot of potential, but that potential is definitely unproven. Next up, we got, I think that's Isan Masters. Is that Isan Masters? I believe that's Isan Masters. Yeah, I, I'd put him in not that great. Where would you throw him? Oh, I'd, I'd agree with not that great. I think that 
Kind of like Dane Gago. I, I think that he's got pretty good attack. He can make... I was going to say, wait a second, please players. clarify that because <laughs> we've got in, one in elite and one in not that great. And just no, no, but in regards to his defence, that's an issue. That's a big issue. So based on the defence, I'm going to say not that great. But I do think that he definitely has some good attack in him and some good play. I think he was better at the Tigers than at the Cowboys, though. I think... I think the reason why I have so like look the Cowboys just don't excite me at all. They haven't for what since Thurston left basically, you know. So considering he's there, and I just don't like their attack at all. And I don't think he's able to show if he is, you know, as at the Tigers at least he had. Did he have Benji at the time? Like I can't remember who was directing the play around it back then. But like the point of the matter is, is that even though the Tigers aren't great, I still prefer their attack to the Cowboys at the moment. So. I don't know. I, yeah, I, I think not that great is a fair, fair result for him simply because he's not going to have the ability to shine as he probably should. And secondly, I just don't think I'd put him alongside the players we've gotten to do the job. Ewan Aiken went to the Warriors. He's at the Warriors now, but obviously not really. He's in Central Coast. Uh, <laughs> but he, uh, he, he's gone to the New Zealand Warriors. Where would you chuck Ewan? He used to be, you know, he used to be a really big guy coming through. Like everyone was really talking about him, but it kind of has, has gone a bit astray. Yeah, I think I think at present, at going into the season, I'm going to say he's not that great. He had he had an okay season overall, but he's had a lot of time to prove himself, and he's he's far from unproven. Yeah, he's definitely he's a lot of time to quality. prove himself. Yeah, he's a player who probably can do the job every week. So you could argue, based on his career form and probably his win loss record as well, would probably be decent enough. I to think put him he, I think he job. had the potential to be quality before, but I think he just didn't live up to the height that he was that he was gaining. He could be big for the Warriors. He that that team, especially with with the Adam Fanua Blake, Roger Tuivasa-Shek, really could work around giving him some good ball. But he needs to be what he was previously. He can't play the way he's been playing the last, say, two, three years, probably two years. Yeah, I, I guess the Warriors are a fast-paced team, which might help them out a little bit. But I have a lot of questions about the Warriors this year. I have a lot of questions that people aren't really talking about. But you guys well, will see that in my prediction video that comes out. Yeah. Next up, we've got Herbie Farnworth, mate. What are you thinking? He's between unproven and, and do the job. He's definitely not, not that great. And uh, you know what? I'm, I'm going to put him in do the job. I know that we've got a lot of good players there. And I still think you could argue that he's unproven. But I think in that Broncos side that failed so miserably, he proved that he can earn a starting spot. He looked really good with the ball. Didn't he take too much to earn a starting spot season. in that team, though, to be honest with you, last year. Yeah, that's true. Scored a lot of tries throughout the season. I I think over eight, I think. I'm happy to put him into the job. Next up, we've got a really interesting one here. A very difficult one, actually. You've got James Roberts. Now, obviously, he's been through about 100 different teams, and he's now not even wearing the uh, jersey that he's got on in this picture. He's now at the Tigers. So, look, I'm not going to put any bias here because, obviously, I'm a Titans fan. I don't like him, but even though we rejuvenate his career. But let's... Uh, I think right, right now... Man, this is so difficult. This is the hardest one so any, far. He could honestly be any of the four. He has the potential to be qual. He could. He had the potential to be elite. He's not elite at all. At all. At all. At all. At all. At all. But he had the potential at one stage. Didn't live up to it. He has the potential still to be quality, but I still don't think I can put him in quality. I don't think I can put him as low as not that great, simply because I just think he's better than not that great. I think I he's feel... a good player overall. I'm gonna put I'm gonna put him higher and do the job, but I can I yeah. can understand if you say quality. No, I'm gonna say based on current form and what we've seen going into the season, I'm gonna say do the job. If we were going off the start of last year though, and I was basing him off his 2018, 2019 season, like career, I would keep him up there in quality. The Tigers still... though confuses me too. That's just like yeah. oh man, it's that's a difficult one. Any but one of the no, was was he was he going to be welcomed anywhere else? That's the thing. Well, no, because he's been everywhere else and he's screwed everyone else <laughs> over. But of course, he's not welcome anywhere else, mate. Yeah. <laughs> so, look, I think that this one's the most controversial one. Like, people can argue literally all areas, not unproven, obviously, but all the other four areas. You could genu- not maybe it could be three. I wouldn't put him elite. Elite, maybe you know, seven years ago, you might have been looking like it, but. I'm happy to put him... I'm going to put him top end to do the job, though. I'm going to put mm. him above Dylan Walker. I'd, I would take James Roberts over Dylan Walker with the ability of knowing how fast he is and knowing what he can do. 
I would take James Roberts over Dylan Walker first. Next up, we'll go Jesse Ramey and mate. Uh, where are you thinking? Um, look, it's between do the job and not that great. I think yeah. he's definitely good. I don't think he's quality. I wouldn't put him unproven based on the time he's spent with uh, multiple clubs now. This is a, this is a hard one because I do rate him, but at the I same do, time, I think do the job's fine. I, I I don't think we put him in not that great. I'm going to agree with you. Do the job. I I I can't put him in not that great. I think he's I think he's a good center. I think he's in not that great if he's at many of the other clubs. I think at the Sharks he's he he does pretty well with. I think the Sharks suit his play style quite well in my opinion. Mm. So I think that do the job is fine. I would probably put him on the lower end to mid. I'd probably put him above above from what I've seen. I'd put him above Farmworth. I put but this isn't really in order. This isn't really yeah. in order, guys. This is just kind of generalizing, but in the same sense, because we're not going to be too long otherwise. Uh, I'll put, I think he's below Brian Kelly, but above... No, I think, I think he's below... I think he's probably second lowest on that list, to be honest with you. I think he's above Farmworth. Uh, next up, we got... Uh, I think it's Joey Leilua. We got Joey Leilua. It is jo- Joey Leilua. Joey Leilua. This is a difficult one, but uh, where, are you th- where are you saying? It's a very difficult one. Gives away penalties a lot. Um, that's which the is, biggest. That's the biggest call there. Yeah, I think he's a player who does the job. This is pretty controversial. I, I'm going to put him in not that great, and that's because of what he's shown for teams. He played. There is no. Teams. There is absolutely no way we are putting Joey Leilua in not that great. There is no <sighs> way. I I would put him. I would genuinely. The, the, look, I wouldn't put him in quality. Uh, he could, he, like, he, he actually is. I actually would put him in quality. I would put him in. I know he gives away a lot of penalties, but in the same sense, this guy's a beast in the centres. Oh, he's a beast. He's he is a beast, beast no doubt, in, in his role. But for what he brings to teams as a centre, the high tackle. You want to put him with Curtis Scott and, and you and I can. I'm going to. I'm he taking gets Joey Lelua over well. all the guys that do the job. I'm I'm keeping him. I'm keeping him there. Controversial one. I'm keeping Joey Lelua in not that great. I'm sorry, Joey. All right. Well, okay. So I'm. <laughs> I don't know what to do here because like I can't believe you put him that low. To be honest with you, I hate you, man. <laughs> I can't believe you've done this. Yeah, I, you led me into it as well. What I, do you I mean mentioned... I led you into it? And when did I say, I just... "Oh, here you go, here's Joey Lelua"? Why don't you put him in, buddy? Not that great. <laughs> I mentioned the penalties, and you went, "The penalties are big," and that's yeah. what made me think you were going to agree with me on there this. There are a big factor of... to. There are a big factor, but to potentially putting him in like a high end, do the job. But like this guy. Is a beast, man. He's a quality player, and he he romps through the field. Yes, he can knock a ball on from time to time, and yes, he can give away a penalty. But I definitely think he's a, a, one of the guys I would be picking first in regards to centers. But you know, we'll put him in. Um, we'll put him in regards. What about to, when he called himself the best center in the league? Well, yeah, that's why he's probably going to punch you the next time he sees you. Because like Joey, just remember, I said you're in quality, mate. <laughs> I said you're in quality. But uh, next up, if we disagree with this one, I'm going to slap you in the face the next time I see you. We got Joey Manu, mate. Joey Manu, where where, where, where are you going to put him? Let's put him in elite. Yeah, I love this up. bloke. I I think huge call. I think he's up there with the best center in the world. Oh, 100 percent. I would put him above Dan Gagai, but in the same sense, like I think they're both they're just they're both top tier. You know, they're both. I love no watching when the Roosters went back to back. I loved watching Joey Manu against those England centers from uh, St Helens, and I forget the other team, and that. These are meant to be the best centres in rugby league in the world. And I think he outclassed him. And I think he's been doing it for years in that role. I think he is the best centre. Now, next up is Josh Dugan. Now, for me, man, I think cause considering this is going into the 2021 season and I'm considering that this is now and not career-wise and not any other time besides what we've seen recently and going into the next year, I'm putting him in not that great. I don't think he's as good as he once was. I agree with him not being as good as he once was. Also riddled with injuries, but that's not his fault. I'm going to... with injuries. I'm going to agree with you here. I think he's very, very borderline into not that great. I arguably think that you could have put him in do the job because he definitely does the job and earns that spot week in, week out. But in regards to class and what we've seen compared to what he previously was as a centre... And the fact that he's played so many different roles throughout his career, he's played fullback, 
Um, has he played? I believe he's played on the wing as well. So, but remember, this is right I'll, now, by the way. This the right, right, right now. now, I I guess I'll agree with you as not that great, but it's very borderline for me. Over his career, he's been quality. Over his career, I put him in quality. But in regards to right now, I put him not that great. All right, so next up, we've got uh, Joshy Morris. Joshy Morris from the Roosters. Where are you thinking? I'm going quality. Yeah, I don't think elite. I think definitely above those do-the-job players. But I think he's a huge signing to come from the Sharks to the Roosters. He had a massive year. I think he was even... I reckon at least... Eight of those games that the Roosters played, which doesn't seem like a lot. He was first try scorer as well. So yeah, for a centre to be getting the first try week in, week out, that's, that's big performance too. So I can't quite put him at elite. I don't think he's exactly what he once was. I feel like he's reached his prime at the Bulldogs. I don't know if he's ever been elite. I wouldn't ever nearly say he's been elite. Uh, that's mm. a that's a big call. I think he's definitely quality though. There's no way I'd put him in, in to do the job. He is definitely one of the better. And I think that simply because he's got the Morris last name as well, he has a, a fantastic reputation as well. I think, I think we might have a disagreement here, but in the same sense, I'm going to put Justin Olam in quality. What are you thinking? I'm putting Justin Olam in quality. I'm glad yeah. you agree with me. Get I'm really PG. glad you agree with Come me here. Giddy. I honestly think he's one of the best, best going centers and he's still got a lot to show, a lot to prove. And I think he's very underrated. So I'm agreeing with you 100% and putting him in quality. Quality, 100%. Got to love the Papua New Guinea, baby. Got to love a bit of Papua New Guinea action. Next up, we've got uh, Justin O'Neill from the Cowboys. This is a difficult one. He's had a pretty decent career. He was decent at the Storm. I, I think he does the job. I think he's fine. I think he does the job. I don't think I'll put him in not that great, but I don't think he's definitely not quality for me. But I'll put him in. I'll put him in he does the job. I'd be happy to have him. I would put him at the bottom end of do the job, in my opinion. And as you said, yeah, he's a alongside career. your Jesse Ramey and stuff like that. Yeah, I, I agree. I, I get you. This one might be difficult. I think it's between two. Katoni Staggs, I'm going to let you speak first, but I know where I'd put him, but where would you put him? Damn, he's a good player to watch. I think he's definitely above do the job. I can't believe I, that even uttered your mouth to the job. <laughs> well, when you said it's between two, I thought you were going to say between quality and do the job, but you're talking about quality and elite. Mm hmm. He is definitely an elite player. Whether he's better than Olam, in my opinion, oh god, I'm, I'm gonna personally put him in quality. I think he's up there with your your Campbell Graham, your Josh Morris, your Justin Olam. Don't know if he's up there just yet with Joey Manu though, but I think he's definitely got potential to be there. And he's looking at going to another club. So yeah, I've seen that. Yeah, well, I, I think, think that that will be good for him. Considering he's at the Broncos, one of the worst teams in the comp, well, the worst team in the league last year. I've got him in elite. I've got him straight up in elite. I think that he's a fantastic centre. We saw what he did to uh, who was it, Josh Mansour last year, where he just absolutely pile drive him into the ground. You know, he he just is a romping centre, and every club would start him first. You know, there is not a guy in quality that I would start over Tony Staggs for me. I think that he has the pace, he has the skill. And he just, he, he just is a player that you think of getting the ball to so he can damn well score a try. Uh, and I would put him, I'd put him honestly up there, especially with, with you know, Dan Gagai. You know, I think if, uh, if Dan Gagai is up there in elite, I think, uh, I think I have to be putting Tony Staggs there. Would you just right, say, we'll you, you would disagree? No, no, I do agree. I, I agree. I think and I think hard... if he goes anywhere else too, it would be even better. I hope he comes to para. I honestly oh, think... Oh, shut he... up. No, we're he... moving on before you he... start He's talking to para dribble. Oh, shut up, buddy. With, Ma- with, Ma- with, with Michael Jennings going. Oh, oh wank on. All right, moving on here. We've got Matthew Tomoko. Sorry, Matthew, if you're watching this, mate, but uh, you've just gotten a bit of a uh, Matthew Tomoko because we've got another para fan talking up, buddy. It's their year. You know, it's always their year next year. Yeah, not our year. I've got us lower than I did last Alrighty. year. Anyway, Matthew Tomoko, I'm putting him in unproven, man. I unproven. Can't, yeah, there's nothing. There's nothing to really go off. To be honest with you, we've just, seen. I think one debut, and then yeah. that's about it. Exactly right. There's nothing to go off. So, next one, Moses Suli. I'm going to put him in quality. I think he's a he's a banging center. I think that uh, he's still got a lot to prove as well. I still think he's got a few mistakes in his game. But I definitely wouldn't be putting him in the same area. I think he's proven a lot more than a lot of the other guys. Like I said, I would probably still put Dylan Walker lower end of quality. But obviously, we've got him in do the job because that was the consensus. I would take him over pretty much everyone there in the, in the centers, in the do the job. Yeah, well, I completely agree. I think he's a fantastic player. I think Manly had the, that skill and uh, he's one of those players that has so much skill about him. He's, he's been very good 
under coach Des Hasler. He's had some big seasons the last couple of years. He's had a big career. He, uh, I believe he has signed, if I'm not mistaken, with Dragon. No, no, Manly, he's still at Manly. And I think that Manly will have a bit better of a year this year. I think Manly will have a bit better of a year, but I hate them after I tipped them to win the comp last year. Yeah, them comp. Yeah, the comp winners. Yeah, you buddy, you make me sick. How dare you let me tip you to win the comp and you buddy don't even make the eight. Next up, we've got uh, Nick Cottridge. He's gone to the Bulldogs this year, man. Bulldogs get a little bit overhyped, uh, but I think that they might be all right in 2022. Uh, but Nick Cottridge, for me, man, I think I'd put him in quality. I agree with quality. I don't think he's proven elite. And I think that that is based for me off origin. I think that him getting that starting role um, in origin for the last few years has has proved that, yeah, he's a good player, but he's definitely not up to that level of your your Katoni Stags or your, your Joey Manu that we've put up there or even Dane Gagai. But the more I think about it, I want to move Dane Gagai into quality. We'll keep him there. I know. We'll I, understand what you, I understand what you're saying. Yeah. I do. I understand what you're saying. But I think that I think that I don't know who, if we're going to put anyone else in elite from what we're about to watch, but what we're about to see. So I yeah. think three up there is fine. But obviously, yeah, Katoni is above Dane for me. Uh, but... I've got I've got Joey Marno as number one, so those I think those three are pretty clear. That's fine. I've got Cottridge really high quality though up top. Yeah, hundred yeah. percent. And I and think I've got, got Brabham Best down the, low, the right, like at the bottom of quality right now. But let's move into Patrick Herbert. Is it my boys, the Titans? Now, what are you thinking? Um, I'm going to say unproven. I think he's mm. definitely played some decent first grade. I'm going to I'm going to put him in unproven. I think the fact that he's going to a new team as well makes me want to put him in unproven. I really think that uh, we saw a bit of him at the Warriors and I think he was coming through and I think he does have the talent and I definitely think he would be around the Brian Kelly area right now, to be honest with you. If I was to put him on the, on the tier list, I'd put him around the Brian Kelly area in the middle of that pack. Uh, but yeah, I'll put him unproven. I think unproven's uh, fair enough there. I, I, I well, can't see too The much. thing for me that I have to put him in unproven is if David Fusatua or Ken Mamalo didn't leave the Warriors, would we have even seen Patrick Herbert play? We only saw him play about five to seven, I believe, NRL games. So for me, that's not enough to judge someone. Yeah, and the fact true. that would they have gotten a spot in the side if not... Yeah, but that's how all players come through, man. A player has to have an injury or a player needs to, you know, leave the club for someone to get a shot. So, you know, he's just playing his hand. You know, he's given a hand and he plays it. So, obviously, that's unproven and that's why we put him there. But in the same sense, like, I I couldn't really judge based off that. But in regards to unproven, I can. I can agree with that one. Uh, Next up, we have uh, Peter Hiku. Peter Hiku. Um, I... uh, What do you think, man? What do you think? This is this is. I think you're going to disagree with me here, but I've got him between low end quality and high end. Do the job. I'm going to say do the job. I think with that team around him and the career he's had has been exceptional. I would I not think, be putting him in quality, man. <laughs> well, look, if I was going off last year, I'd be putting him in quality 100. percent I'm there's. I think do the job. I I think the fact that you've got Joey Leilua. And bloody not that great. And you've got Peter Hiku in quality is baffling, mate. If it's we're going off last me. season, I would 100% back We're myself. going off what we're thinking going into this season. But is, is that in, in the concept of, of what we've seen previously? Or is that of what we expect? It's whatever what you want to think going into the next season. It's just it's whatever you want to think going into the next season. I'm, I'm going to say high end of, of do the job. All right. Well, I'm, I, I would probably say... I'd probably say, I said do the job. I'd probably, I would personally probably put low end to the job, but I will put him in mid end. We'll put him in the mid tape. Mid, we'll put him in yeah. mid area with buddy Joey Leilua. We'll put him in mid area with Joey Danwell Leilua. Uh, oh. All right. So next up, we've got Stephen Crichton, mate. Stephen Crichton. I think, uh, I think you have to put him in quality. I think you've got to. I think he's, he's definitely proved that he's going to be a player to watch throughout the year. Another player who's uh, talked about potentially moving clubs. I think he's uh, could be on the out of the Panthers. I think that he should stay. I think that he's got a good team to work around and we've seen that skill of him. So I think he's a real quality player and definitely keep your eye on him. Next up, Tommy Opacic. I think I'm going to put him in not that great. What do you think? I think I agree. I think maybe he could become better with para players around him. I don't particularly I think that's him. bias coming in there. You think that's bias? Yep. 
That's opinion. Right. That's, that's opinion. That's fine. And, you can take yeah, that. Yeah, no, I'll keep him in not that great. I think that he... It's, it's the Cowboys the, again, man. It's the Cowboys. The like, you thing, can't shine on the Cowboys right now. Exactly. And look, not speaking about the bias as well, I don't particularly think that he fits in in regards to our speed. I think that our left-hand side with Sebo, Dylan Brown, are players who are fast. And Tom Opacek is an okay centre, but he's got no speed, in my opinion, about him. And I think that's FYI, why... he wouldn't get a start there if it wasn't for Michael Jennings. No. And you could argue that he won't get a start there with, with Hayes. Yeah, there's also other David. people. Yeah, there's also other people there that uh, are pushing for it right now. He may not get the starting job, but this is the predicted lineups uh, for week one anyway. Uh, we're a month out from the competition starting. Uh, I'm not too sure when this comes out, but we're a month out as we're filming this. All right, next up, we've got Wonga Blake. Uh, I know you're going to tell me he's bloody like the top of elite, but where, where, where are you no putting way. him? I'm going to say do the job. I don't yeah, think good. he's not that great. Good. I do think he's a, a, a solid centre. I don't think he's anywhere near those quality that we've got of, of Justin Oliam, of Stephen Crichton, mm. those type of players. I'd probably put him uh, close with Brian Kelly, if I'm honest with you. Yeah, um, I've got I him around Brian Kelly. I've got him above yeah. Peter Hicko, though, to be honest with you, but I'll put him next to Brian Kelly. I've got, I've got issues with his defence, but his attack, as we saw against the Panthers when Parramatta beat them, um, is huge. And he's not a player who comes up with, with big plays, but he is a player who can score tries when needed. I think it was against the Warriors when, when it was needed. So for that reason, I'm going to put him as do the job. Mm, you know, fair enough. 100%. I think do the job. I think that's spot on. Next up, we've got two left here. We've got uh, Will Hopawade. Now, I'll jump in here and I'll say that Will Hopawade, for me, had the potential to be elite when he was younger. He had the potential to be elite. Didn't show it. I think Will Hopawade had a lot more potential than you and Aiken, but in the same sense, same kind of comparison. I would personally put Will Hopawade right now into the job. I think I'd agree. I think that he... Around that dog's team, he is very close to being low end of quality. But at present, going into the season and what the dogs have, and they've got so much... I guess, talent around them, I'm going to put him in and do the job. I think he should be at quality by the end of this year. I think he should be in the quality by the end of this year, but I wouldn't have him above right now. I wouldn't take him. If I had to do a draft or whatever, I wouldn't take him above James Roberts, Dylan Walker, Branko Lee, or uh, or Joey Leilua. No way. Finally, we've got Zachy Lomax, mate. Zach Lomax. What are your thoughts of the final guy? This is a tricky one. I think Zach Lomax is, is a fantastic player who's starting to prove himself and I don't think the Dragons are that great, but I think he he's definitely proved himself there. I think... I honestly think he's a little bit above do the job. I, th- I think, think he's... If we're putting Bradman Best in quality, we're putting... Yeah, I think... I'm looking at that. I'm looking at Bradman Best right now in quality, and I'm also looking at Moses Suley. Oh, nah, think, Moses Suley's better than those two. For okay, me, well, do you anyway. agree with me that he would be in, in, in a quality, though? Well, I'm saying if Bradman, Best is, if Bradman Best is in quality, if I was to do extra sub-tiers and stuff like that, I would put Zach Lomax uh, and Bradman Best in a tier just below here in between quality and do the job. I'd put those two guys. Because okay. Bradman Best being there has actually irked me this whole time, but I wouldn't put him in do the yep. job. I think he's better than do the job, but I also don't put him in the likes of Cottridge, Olam, Suli, Buddy, um, is that Josh Morris there? Yeah, look, I wouldn't, as Crichton, Campbell, get, like, yeah, I'd put those two guys there in between do the job and quality, but definitely they are better than do the job. So that's why I'm happy to have them. Yeah, so uh, I think that's, every, that's everyone done here, lads. Um, pretty happy with that. I think that everyone not that great is, is fair, but in the same sense, guys, if you are watching this, please prove us wrong. You know, go out there and, and have a crack this year and hopefully next year we can put you into the Go top. on, Joey, I dare you. Get the, get the Dally M medal this year. Buddy Joey. Oh, Joey Manu. Joey uh, Leilua. Oh, Joey Leilua. Oh, please, for the love of God, if that happened, that would be the greatest moment in history that this man put him <laughs> oh, in not that great. I center, had a, Dally M center of the year, Joey you're Leilua. Outrageous, son. You're outrageous. But, uh, the Tigers team that finished ninth. Oh, man. Uh, but that's going to that's gonna do us... Uh, do it for today. Like I said, guys, let us know in the comments section below what your thoughts are. Also, obviously, thanks to Entertain House. Where can everyone find you, man? Uh, make sure you check out the Entertain House YouTube channel. I've also started the Instagram for uh, Let's Talk Footy underscore. I'll just double check that. One second. I'll underscore EH, I think it is. I think it's underscore EH. I'm just double checking. How do you Andrew not know your own name? <laughs> well, it was pretty hard to get the, yeah, let's talk footy underscore EH. I saw that you had like Buddy Kempy on the other day and Buddy Hayes Dunster and stuff like that. Who, who you got coming on next? 
Yeah, Kempe, Hayes, Dunstart. There's going to be uh, Clarky from Clarky's NRL column will be yeah, coming he's, on. Yeah, well, he's been doing this as well. We just finished up doing the hookers in the front row forwards. And uh, you guys have seen by now, if you've seen my Instagram, which is absolutely huge. I can't wait for it. Monday, February 8th. Josh Papali. Papali. Oh. Papali. That should be a good one. I'll definitely be training with that one. That's tonight, isn't it? Yeah, that's tonight. That is the Monday, February 8th. Yeah, it's tonight. There you go. So we're filming this in like literally the first of February, guys. So, but I'm pretty sure, yeah, this will come out around the eighth or so, something like that. So, uh, definitely go and check out Entertain House on YouTube. Obviously, he does rugby league content as well. We'll probably do a heap of vlogs together this year because uh, obviously I'm back in Australia. So, if you haven't subscribed to you guys, go down there, hit that subscribe button, smash the thumbs up button as well, and obviously hit that little ding a ling a ling notification bell. Looking forward to the season, guys. I hope you have enjoyed, and uh, I'll see you guys next time. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. Catch you later. See ya.